Okay, this is the 1800s and no one has any money. Like people are like sweeping the streets and maybe you'd find like a crust of bacon and you'd eat it. Edgar Allan Poe, he's one of the great American poets, completely disrespected by everyone he ever came in contact with. He was always broke. And he came into contact with a fellow by the name of Rufus Griswold. So Griswold says to Poe, hey, I'm making this book called The Poets and Poetry of America. So give me some of your poems, and uh, if I like them, I'll put them in. He knows if he puts him in the book, then Edgar Allan Poe will be likely to write a nice review. So Poe's like, OK, I'll give you some of my poems. So here's my poems. So books get, book get the book gets published. Poe's, three of po Poe's poems are, are printed. Griswold has printed 50 poems by one of his friends. 50! Poe's sitting there with a book in front of him, flipping through the book, flip, 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 flip. What the f Are you f serious? This f sucker, hack, loser, ass has put me in the very back of this book. I have been hornswoggled by a f Griswold comes to him, he's like, Edgar, what do you say that you write one of your wonderful reviews of my book? And uh, I'll give you uh, $100 for it. It's basically bribery. And Poe's like, sure, no problem. I'll take your money and write a review of this, this book. No problem. No problem, Rufus. <laughs> 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 so, so, he, so he writes the review. Now Griswold has been telling his friends, you know, Poe's gonna write this great review of my <laughs> Then he, when, when he reads the review that he paid for, like, no one should read this, none of these poets are gonna be remembered except for me. It's a waste of time to even look at this thing. All this is crap. Hey, Ground Poe. He's like, really? I gave you money to write a review of a book of poetry that I put you in. You ass game on. So Poe starts hearing that Griswold is now like, is talking about him. So he goes on a tour of America and being like, hey, what's up guys? You guys know about Rufus Griswold, right? The guy who wrote this book of poetry where he only put three of my poems in. You know about this guy? He's like a hack, just like a stereotypical basic bull ass. He has no talent at all. And if you give Griswold a hand job, he'll put 20 poems in his book. He is a vile, holographic piece of Holograms don't even exist yet, and I'm calling him a hologram.